Hey there, my amazing truth warriors. This is your favorite royal critic back here. So grab your seats, because today's story is going to make your blood absolutely boil. Just when you think Meghan Markle couldn't possibly sink any lower, she comes out with perhaps the most outrageous, hypocritical, gaslighting accusation I've ever heard in all my years covering the royal beat. So now, get this, Miss Hollywood herself is now claiming she's petrified of the royal family manipulating Harry. I had to read that twice when it crossed my desk because the irony is just too rich. The master manipulator herself, the woman who's turned emotional manipulation into an Olympic sport, is suddenly worried about manipulation? Give me a break. Let's break this down, my friends, because this is a masterclass in projection if I've ever seen one. Here we have a woman who systematically isolated Harry from every friend, family member, and support system he ever had. A woman who convinced a beloved prince to abandon his duty, his heritage, and his entire identity. And now, she has the absolute gall to point fingers at the royal family? You know what's really going on here? Our inside sources, and these are solid sources, people who've been in the palace corridors long before Meghan even knew what a curtsy was, tell me she's panicking. And why? Because that Portuguese property purchase isn't just about having a European base. It's about control, pure and simple. Think about it. Harry's getting closer to Europe, physically and maybe emotionally. He's seeing his family carrying on without him, watching William and Catherine absolutely crushing it as the future of the monarchy while he's stuck doing what? Appearing in cheesy Netflix documentaries, playing polo in California with people who barely know which end of the horse is which. Our sources tell me Harry's been showing signs of wanting to reconnect with his family. Those tears we saw recently, that's not just homesickness, that's a man realizing exactly what he's lost. And let me tell you something about Meghan's reaction to this. According to our palace insider, she's absolutely terrified. Not of the royal family's manipulation, but of losing her grip on her meal ticket. Let's really examine this manipulation she's so worried about. What exactly has the royal family done? Carried on with their duties? Maintained dignity in the face of constant attacks? Protected the thousand-year institution they're sworn to serve? Oh, the horror! Meanwhile, let's look at Meghan's own manipulation playbook, shall we? First, she love-bombed Harry. Classic narcissist move swept him off his feet with promises of a modern fairy tale. Then came the isolation phase. One by one, Harry's oldest friends disappeared. Remember his buddy Skippy gone. The Van Straubenzee brothers? Distant. Even his military connections, the people who literally went to war with him, all pushed aside. Then there's the family separation. First it was Oh, we need space from the toxic media. Then it was, we need to be in Canada for our mental health. Next thing you know, they're in California, and Harry's doing public therapy sessions on Apple TV+, Plus, spilling family secrets like they're yesterday's tea. And let's talk about this Portugal property purchase. $4.7 million for a place that isn't even built yet? Our sources tell me this is classic Meghan's strategy. Always have an escape route. But more importantly, it's about controlling the narrative. She can say, see, we're trying to be closer to your family, while making sure they're still far enough away that she maintains total control. You know what really gets me? The way she uses those children as pawns. Archie and Lilibet, those poor kids who've barely met their royal relatives, now she's saying she'll give her blessing for them to see their grandfather? How generous of her. The King of England needs permission from a Z-list actress to see his own grandchildren. Can you imagine Catherine pulling something like this with the Middleton grandparents? 
never in a million years. And speaking of Catherine, let's look at how a real royal handles family relationships. When was the last time you heard her complaining about manipulation? When did she ever prevent William from seeing his family? Instead, she strengthened those bonds, helped bridge any gaps, shown what true grace and dignity look like. The audacity of this woman never ceases to amaze me. Let's talk about what real manipulation looks like. Remember the Oprah interview? That was manipulation on a global scale, making accusations of racism against the royal family without naming names, ensuring everyone would suspect everybody, claiming she was silenced while simultaneously doing more media than any royal bride in history. Talking about how she uh, didn't know anything about the royal family, while old blog posts showed her obsessing over Catherine years before. And now she's worried about Harry being manipulated into reintegrating with his family? Let me translate that for you, my friends. She's terrified of Harry remembering who he really is. Because let's be honest, the Harry we see now is about as authentic as Meghan's accent when she's trying to sound posh. Our palace sources tell me that King Charles still keeps Harry's childhood photos in his office. William still has pictures of him and Harry as boys prominently displayed. Queen Camilla has tried multiple times to extend olive branches, but according to Meghan, these are the manipulative ones. Please, let's look at some recent events that really expose this ridiculous claim. Remember when Harry was at that NATO meeting with their wedding photo prominently displayed behind him? Who do you think staged that? The royal family? No, that's pure Meghan, making sure everyone knows she is still pulling the strings even when she's not in the room. Or how about their recent private dinner in Portugal while house hunting? Funny how the paparazzi just happened to be there, isn't it? Even funnier how the photos appeared in exactly the publications that regularly print their preferred narrative. But sure, it's the royal family we need to worry about when it comes to manipulation. You want to know what real manipulation looks like? It's convincing a man who once proudly served his country that his entire family is toxic. It's making someone believe that leaving behind a thousand years of heritage is finding freedom. It's turning one of the most beloved princes into a man who can't even mention Christmas with his family without breaking down in tears. Let's dig even deeper into what's really happening here, my truth-seeking family. This Portugal property purchase, conveniently leaked to the press, by the way, is classic misdirection. While everyone's focusing on their move closer to Europe, nobody's talking about their catastrophic failure in Hollywood. Have you noticed how quiet Netflix has been about their future projects? How their podcast empire crumbled faster than a sandcastle at high tide. But here's what's really sinister about Meghan's latest accusations. By claiming she's afraid of the royal family's manipulation, she's actually setting up her next move. Mark my words, if Harry ever does try to reconcile with his family, she'll paint herself as the victim who saw it coming. It's preparation for a narrative she might need later. And believe me, she always plans ahead. Remember how she claimed she never Googled Harry or the royal family? Then we found out she'd been blogging about Kate's wedding years before. Remember how she said she felt trapped in the palace? Then we learned she'd been making deals with Netflix while still on the royal payroll. This woman doesn't make a single move without calculating all the angles first. And let's talk about these sources close to the palace who conveniently leak her fears about manipulation. Funny how these sources always seem to know exactly what Meghan's thinking, isn't it? Almost like they're coming from, oh, I don't know, Sunshine Sachs maybe? Or one of their other PR firms? Meanwhile, William and Catherine are out there showing what real royal work looks like. 
While Megan's planting stories about being petrified, Catherine's visiting hospitals, supporting mental health initiatives, actually making a difference in people's lives. While Harry's being paraded around like a circus act, William's carrying on his father's environmental legacy with real concrete actions. Think about poor King Charles in all this. This man has literally just become king, dealing with the weight of a thousand-year institution on his shoulders, and he has to watch his youngest son being used as a puppet in this Hollywood circus. Our sources tell me he still keeps Harry's place set at family dinners, still hopes for reconciliation. But according to Meghan, he's the manipulative one? So, now let me wrap this up with the most damning evidence of all my friends. While Meghan's crying wolf about manipulation, let's look at who's really trapped. Harry can't even visit his homeland without her permission, can't see his family without her blessing, can't make a public appearance without her wedding photo in the background. Even this Portugal move, it's not about being closer to family, it's about maintaining control while appearing to compromise. The real tragedy here? Those children, Archie and Lilibet, are being denied their birthright, their family connections, their cultural heritage, all because their mother is terrified of losing her grip on her meal ticket. While their cousins George, Charlotte and Louis are growing up surrounded by love, family traditions and real connections, what do they have? Staged photo ops and carefully curated appearances. You know what, my dear viewers? I'm going to make a prediction right here, right now. This latest accusation about royal family manipulation is going to backfire spectacularly. Because people aren't blind. They can see who's really pulling the strings. They can see who's really trapped. And sooner or later, Harry will see it too. To all my amazing truth warriors out there, keep watching, keep questioning, keep supporting our real working royals. Because while some people spend their time plotting and manipulating, others are out there actually serving the people, preserving traditions, and showing what real royal dignity looks like. This is your favorite royal critic, signing off. And remember, the truth always comes out in the end. Always. Hit that like button if you're as fed up with these manipulation games as I am. Share this video to spread the truth. And don't forget to subscribe for more royal reality checks. Until next time, my friends, keep fighting the good fight. Bye for now.